tonight. This man has reason to be concerned, but it was a happy ending. Joe, we're glad you came aboard for the next half hour. Lots to cover in the next 30 minutes. We'll have a look at the Argos' Tremaine Johnson, as well as the new boss now for the New York Yankees, the guy that George Steinbrenner, the ousted leader, has chosen to take over. But we'll start things off at the ballpark, inside the ball yard, and lots of action inside at the Vet in Philadelphia tonight, G. A lot of action, and that's where we begin. Whether Major League Baseball players like to admit it or not, whenever a player is traded, he would love to come back with a strong performance when he plays against his former teammates. Last season, San Francisco sent Terry Mulholland to Philadelphia. Tonight, Mulholland faced his former teammates. He was only 6-6 six and six going to the game, but this would turn out to be an extremely special night for Terry Mulholland. We pick up the tax in the bottom of the first inning. John Cruck takes John Robinson up the middle. Darren Dalton is the man on. He comes in to score, and it's 1-0 Phil. Go to the top of the fifth inning now. The Terry Mulholland show begins. He's pitching a perfect game as he K's Kevin Mitchell, his fifth K of the ball game. Top of the seventh, Rick Parker grounds the ball to third. Charlie Hayes makes a bad throw, pulls John Cruck off the bag. Mulholland's perfect game bit is gone, but his no-hitter still alive. The next batter is Dave Anderson, and he hits into a 6-4-3 double play, and Mulholland dodges another bullet. Top of the ninth inning now, Mulholland faces pinch hitter Bill Bays. He grounds into a 5-3. This time, Hayes makes sure of himself. One away. Then, Mulholland faces Jose Uribe. Uribe hits a chopper that Dickie Thon handles. Six, three, two away. Now he must retire Gary Carter in order to get the no-hitter. Carter's got two strikes on him. Slaps it down the third baseline. Outstanding grab by Charlie Hayes. And they celebrate Terry Mulholland's first ever no-hitter. It is the eighth throw in this season. That is a modern-day record. Philadelphia wins the game 6 to nothing, but that really seems to hardly matter at all. Rick Wise was the last Philly to throw a no-hitter back in 1971. And after the game, Mulholland said it was no coincidence that his no-hitter came against his former teammate. You know, the only reason I figure it comes against the Giants is uh, I know those guys. I uh, sat, you know, for parts of three different years uh, watching them hit, watch what they could hit, what they couldn't hit, and... Uh, you know, they're a great ball team, don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, I still believe uh, they're going to definitely make a race out of the West. And, uh, you know, they got nothing to be upset or uh, disgraced over because uh, those guys weren't giving in either. That was